Hey everybody, today I have my old 2003 RS6 right here and we're gonna mix up a cheddar cheese yellow. Why? Because I think it would look cool. So here's what we got. We got a gown of yellow Plasti Dip and I've got a red tint. I think if we put the gown of yellow into the mixing bucket like this, and then we use just the right amount of red. And I'm talking like, what? Drops. Drops of red. We might be able to get our Cheese Whiz cheddar color. We haven't done something like this in a really long time. And I think it would look awesome on this car. As far as the end result, is like the finish, are we going to leave it as a matte cheddar Plasti Dip? Or are we going to gloss it? We haven't really thought that through yet. No. I think, I think we probably gloss it just to give it that finished look. Maybe we sneak a little pearl in it, or do, we'll see. All right, so just like a drip drop, right? Yeah. Like one, or if you want to use the mixing stick, and I don't really. If we, all right, if we go over, how do we bring it back? Yellow tint? Or no, just more yellow uh, gallons probably when we dilute. So we're making one gallon of cheddar yellow here. One gallon is not enough for the car. So how are we going to make one gallon exactly the way we want it and then turn that into two gallons you're gonna have to take like a top of a gallon, put a drop of yellow that we made, then take our mix that we're going to be doing. And then as we go along, we put a drop next to the other drop and you just visually see if they're gonna match up. It's kind of like how they blend in automotive paint. So we have to make the cheddar exactly the way we want it and then duplicate the exact same thing. Correct. You can also count your drops. No, I, I can't administer a certain number of, hold on. This is so thick too. Bloop. Are we doing that? Gosh. Boop. All right, hold on. I'm gonna make the biggest mess. Let's see what happened. There's, ooh, okay, hold on. We don't need a lot of red, right? I mean, this is still supposed to be yellow. If we make orange, we fail. We need cheddar, cheese whiz, Velveeta, yellow. If it's not Velveeta, we fail. More? We didn't, we didn't keep any, well, technically the top of this is the control. Right, that's true. We have a real dialed in scientific process here. You guys may not be seeing much on the small camera, but I can see gradual changes. Okay, we're, we're getting Velveeta-ish. We're getting cheesy. Ironically, I'm lactose intolerant. I think this is it. I think we nailed it right there. That might have been it. This is like what you see go over like nachos or like cheese fries. Yeah. Yeah, it looks exactly like cheese. Okay, I think we nailed it. I say we leave that. So now what we're gonna apparently do is dump another gallon of yellow and this into a bucket and then replicate this. And so it'll work out fine.
All right, guys, we are all done with today's project. Now, I know that I may have said during the mixing process that I was planning on sealing up the car with glossy top coat to give it a glossy sheen finish. But the more I looked at the car as the color was coming together, I changed my mind. Sometimes with solid colors like this, in my personal opinion, when you put a glossy top coat on top, it almost kind of makes it look like you're trying to achieve a, an OEM or factory gloss finish, and this product simply isn't gonna get there, so it kind of gets like a halfway semi-gloss. Now, when you're using a glossy finish for pearls and things like that, totally different. Solid colors, in my opinion, I, I just, it didn't feel right. I'm just being honest. So what we did is we did seal it up, but we used matte top coat, and I think it looks absolutely perfect. Now, this isn't one of our wild, crazy hyper shifts, but sometimes a clean, solid color is exactly what the doctor ordered. This cheddar yellow with the black accents, black wheels, I think the car looks absolutely perfect. But you know the deal, I care more about what you guys think. I'm gonna take it outside right now, and I want you to do me a favor, leave a comment in the section below, and rate this car, this color, one through five. Let me know what you think. If you wanna dip your own car, super easy, click right up here. We have all the kits you need to dip everything from your emblems, wheels, and your entire car. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I had a ton of fun. I'll see you guys on the next video.